Welcome back to Clayton Chick Outdoors. I'm Clayton Chick and this is The Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, I make videos outside, mostly fishing, sometimes hunting, sometimes cooking, sometimes a few other things, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. But you should subscribe and follow along for my adventure this whole summer as I continue on. Today, we've got the Ranger loaded up and we're going shore fishing. Springtime offers amazing opportunities to catch fish from the shore, what proves to be a little bit harder during the summertime, later in the season as the water warms up. Fish go a little bit deeper into the, the main parts of the lake. But right now, you can find them in back tributaries, you can find them in the shallows, etc. etc. I know it's etc. But I like to say etc. I'm not uh, making fun of the comment, I'm just saying that I actually pronounce it etc just to kind of have fun with it. So anyways, let's go fishing, shore fishing. We're gonna go through a bunch of different techniques, some uh, jerk shads, uh, swim baits. We're going to use the almighty pickerel rig, but I'm gonna show you how to make a pickerel rig better because let's face it, when you take a pickerel rig out of the package, they're junk. So we are going to make it better. Let's go fishing. Bye boat. I promise I'll be back. I'm not cheating on you. I just want to explore some other options. Later when I come back, begging to take me back. Please take me back. Miss you. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I don't know why I'm so excited right now, but I definitely am. I think it goes back to a little bit. When I was young, I used to go fish this area all the time except for I had to take a pedal bike out there. I remember one time, now I'll tell the stories a little bit later as uh, I don't have so much wind noise, but yeah, it's fun. At the lake, ready to get going. Spot one, I'm gonna fish a pile of spots today. I've got about seven hours to fish probably. Lots of spots. I'll explain kind of what I'm fishing here a little bit. I'm gonna put a head camera on today just so I make it a little more interesting because short fishing is a little bit tougher to film. Anything I'm fishing today is either public property or if it's private, I've already obtained some permission to be on. So that's all you have to do is get out and get some permission first. Make sure you ask somebody if you're not sure if you should be there or not. It doesn't hurt to get permission because you can ruin it for other people. Another project I have today is I don't see any yet, but I have garbage bags with me. Every place I shore fish today, I'm going to pick up garbage around where I am. So yes. Awesome, I'm going to start right here with a little GT360 search bait, I believe it is, one eighth ounce. And we're going to chuck it out, one, two, three, kind of fan cast around a little bit. And like I said, move around a little bit, do some live bait and whatnot. But walleyes, this time of year, in the shallows. They're in the shallows. Do it. Don't fall, Clayton, don't fall, Clayton, don't fall, Clayton. Woo, yeah. I have no idea how the head camera footage will turn out. I've got waders on to make life easier so I can step in the water a little bit. Check drags, a little bit loose. This is nice, got a little bit of rock in here. More, more mud than I want. I'd like a little bit more sand than anything, but do it. First cast. Let it sink to the bottom. I'm just gonna bounce it back slow, pop it, pop it. Working it pretty slow along the bottom, pop it, pop it, let it sit for a sec, pop it. It's beautiful out right now, like beautiful. It's a little bit muddier than I want. I wish it was a little bit more sandy. That's okay though, we'll make it work. Make sure you work it all the way in. Sometimes these fish can be pretty shallow right next to the shore. I'm trying to build it up. 
wish I could make you stop Cause baby, I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no I don't wanna step into the light If I don't get you, shoddy You bring out the sweetness of my life The spot one no fish, but that's an interesting find. Huh. A little one, two, three, four, a little four by four, a couple broken off tines. He's been in there for a while, for sure. Cool. Okay, I'll admit I fished it fairly quick. I'll probably come back here later at some point. I do really like the looks of it. I just want to kind of cover some water. As of right now, move around a little bit and yeah. Yeah, spot one no fish okay we're at spot two on this beautiful day and i found my first piece of trash and it's a bucket it's a bucket cleaning up the shorelines making earth more beautiful i like this little spot looks good looks a little more sandy got high expectations high hopes high dreams some geese in the field life is good what a beautiful day have I ever said how good life is? I love it. How do I look? Do I look good? I look good. I don't. I don't think like that. Okay, I'm going something a little bit different. Just a little jerk shad here instead. You can work it just a little bit slower. I've got a little bit of heavier, a little bit heavier jig on this one. It's a quarter ounce Kalen's Google Eye jig. It's got a little, little rattle in it type of thing in the eyes. I really like these. I really like them. I really like them. Long shank good for plastics little uh, plastic keeper on there this will just allow me to work it just a little bit slower than a swim bait and I've got a pretty long rod here so I'll be able to zing this puppy out pretty far I believe Okay, spot number two, nothing yet. Again, I didn't fish it super hard, only about 10 minutes. I could see myself coming back here, like prime time hours again. I just wanna kind of move around and get a good feel for what's gonna be the best spots for that prime time bite. Okay, spot three. This looks interesting. This looks really interesting. Well, probably not a good idea to put the pliers in the net, Clayton. I got here and I like that little point that's sticking out right there. So yeah, looks interesting. Oh, I found something interesting, crayfish claw. So clearly walleyes would love to eat these things. Okay, let's go to that point. Let us go to the point. All these spots I'm fishing right now are actually new to me. I used to always fish over there as a kid, which I'll get to at some point. Well, spot four is a bust. Still looks good, but I did notice a bunch of trash down here. So I am doing my part. Trying to pick it up. I hate when people litter. I know some of it's obviously by accident. Stuff blows out. You know, it happens, but some of it, come on peeps, don't litter, it's not cool. Spot five, spot number five. Ooh, a little bit harder bottom, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Shallow, really shallow, but they could be in this shallow water right now. Hard bottom, this is good. This is good. Spot five, no dice. All good though. Again, only probably made about 10 casts. Just gonna keep moving, moving, moving. If I catch one, I'll likely stay there a little bit longer. Okay, spot six. Not pulling out the big camera yet. 
unless I catch something because I won't be here long. I've never fished here. And it might be too shallow, but we're gonna see what the situation is. Nope. Okay, spot six. Okay, Doka Lee. Spot seven, I already got the big camera down there. I'll spend a little bit more time here. This is kind of more of a community spot for sure. So I also have some garbage to clean up and there's a gopher. Where'd you go, little buddy? There he is. What you doing? Huh? What you doing? Where you going? Huh? Where you going? I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, there's trash. Yep. Lots of trash. Clean up. That's okay. It's uh, 4:45 or something like that. So I'm slowly getting into prime time hours. You can call it a little bit more. I'm gonna spend more time out here. The wind's starting to pick up a bit. Hoping it is gonna die off into the evening. I'm gonna do some. Like I said, pickle rig or something like that, some bait here at some point as well. I'm still on artificials completely. This I have, these couple spots, the next spots I'm gonna fish, I have caught fish here in the past. So I, like I said, I might put a little bit more time here for sure. So fingers crossed, spot seven. Okay, cast and pop. Cast and pop, hope they don't get snagged. I've have gotten snagged out here, that's for sure. A little bit deeper out here, I know. Let's sink down. It's wind. The wind is really tough sometimes to deal with the bow when you're lying because you're trying to go by feel more than anything. And that bow can definitely give you a little bit of a disadvantage. Just watch for your line as you're kind of twitching it in. If it all of a sudden tightens up, you're either snagged or you got a bite. Try to cast once with the wind here. Oh yeah, with the wind is money, money. Itchy head. This hat and this head camera makes my head itchy. Good cast, Clayton. Good cast. Beautiful. Let it sink. Let it sink to the bottom. Oh, it looks like a little perfect spot to just kind of stand out here. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little bit of an angle. I like this. Okay. I can... I think this is the cast. I think. Well, picking up some trash because spot seven is bunk. When you people litter, you should really be careful when your name is on here, Mr. Of Melville, Saskatchewan. Yeah, you should really be careful when you litter and your name is on your receipt, bud. Not cool. Okay, surprisingly for a community spot, the trash wasn't horrible, but yeah, we got some. Turning this fishing trip into a trash picking trip. Hey, whatever you're good at, right? Oh, that's a big hill. Okay, spot eight. A little bit harder, obviously, to get the main camera down by the rock, so we'll rely on the head camera. Try to make some magic happen. Spot eight, no good. I did break my jig off though, so that's a poopy deal. I'm gonna move a little bit further down, cast a few casts with a swim bait, and then we're going to set up a pickerel rig. We're going to fish some bait. Spot nine, 
we're going to pick up the swim bait here, make a few casts, and then we're going to tie up a pickerel rig and throw out some bait. Okay, Clayton, what do you have against the pickerel rig? Well, nothing super major. The problem is, it's boring. Pickerel rig fishing is like some of the most boring fishing you can do. Like, watching a bobber is more exciting than a pickerel rig. But now, it's come to that where I want to run some bait, and I don't have any slip bobbers with me today. So this is probably one of the best ways to do it right now. I'm going to use this one, but I'm going to show you what you do when you take a pickerel rig. You get it in the package for the first time. So you got your pickerel rig, a Danielson here. Danielson pickerel rig. It doesn't really matter what pick, kind of pickerel rig you buy, because we're going to demolish it, basically. We'll put our leftover garbage in here. So you get this pickerel rig, and this one actually, it doesn't come with the hooks on it at all. So that's perfect. We see these hooks here they send right now i would love to just throw it right over my shoulder but that's littering this just throw this right in the garbage it's junk the hooks are junk the line is too big bulky it's just junk just get rid of this first things first this goes in the pail so now that you've taken your hooks and you've thrown them away this is what you're left with you're left with just basically the guts of it i would say or the body of it. You're left with the body of it. You're kind of throwing the guts away. You're left with an area here to clip your weight on here at the bottom. This will depend uh, how heavy, how heavy weight you clip on will depend on what you're fishing in terms of current wise. If there's no current, you get away with a really small weight. Look at that. See how, how cheap these are. That thing just came right off. Junk. Like these things are garbage. You have to basically redo the whole thing. That's no good either. So I have to tie a clip on there too. So you're left with your main body here. I'd be, I wouldn't even trust that now. Like, look at that knot. It's a little bit better once I cinch it up, but they're junk. I'd go through this and I'd redo my knots. Obviously, like I said, you can make your own with just the wire pieces too and use your own floral, but this will work right here. So now we're going to adjust, not adjust. We're going to add on here. We're going to add basically our own snell type of thing. Cause what happens is these, pickerel rigs is when they're casted out you're normally fishing from shore and you're fishing a little bit of an angle so you have to picture your line kind of like this right so they're both hanging down downwards if you vertical fish them up and down they don't work as well these are meant to be fished at a little bit of an angle on shore they will work obviously up and down but they are more meant for kind of an angle like that so what you're going to do is you're going to add your own type of floral here focus we have a six i have an eight i have a 10 pound there and these are octopus hooks this is a size two this is a size four basically you're going to pick the size of the hook in relation to your bait you're using leeches you use a little bit smaller hook if you're using night crawlers or minnows maybe a little bit bigger hook it really depends what you're using for bait for sure not necessarily the fish that you're fishing for so what you'll do is you'll pick your take your line You'll tie on a snell knot onto here, you know, and then you'll have about this much line, maybe about that much line type of thing, and you'll tie it to your pickerel rig, which is right here. Like I said, it's at an angle, so you want to kind of tie, you don't want it too long or else it gets wrapped up, it gets a pain in the butt to cast out, but you want to have, you know, a little bit there. And you can get fancy with a knot at here. You could do a loop knot and connect it there, or really you can probably just do a uni knot type of thing at the top. Snell knot though, at the hook which i'll put right here i'll put a link in my description below to i'll find a video on youtube that really looks good for a snell knot and i'll include it there you can get fancy if i was going to be fishing them a little bit more say vertical out of a boat i might go a little bit more to something like put like a float on something like this like maybe a float just to kind of bring it up a little bit or a floating jig head something like that you can get a little bit creative with it but pickerel rigs, when they first come in the package, you guys, they're junk. They're junk. You kind of have to redo it. I recommend getting your own octopus hooks, doing a snell knot, putting them on there. You have a floral leader. You'll increase your odds of catching fish 
for sure because those those things are garbage like they're just the worst line as you saw they're not tied very well to start with change out your hooks on your pickerel rigs check all your knots use the weight that is required for what you're fishing if you're fishing in really slow current or no current go to a really small weight if you're fishing heavy current obviously you got to go to a bigger weight it all depends what you're you're fishing so yes back to the video Good news, I brought some good luck with me. She can't, come here. <laughs> you can wear the tube. Oh, no, I almost fell. I brought some good luck with me. It's bad lighting anyway. She came to hang out with me for a little bit because we're close to home. After eight hours, I'm not so sure. I haven't been fishing for eight hours. Five, maybe. Okay. Careful, don't fall. You can see in the background the sun is setting i'm not quitting i still have caught zero fish cindy just left she came and visited me for a while i'm running low on gopro batteries i haven't caught a fish have i said that i haven't caught a fish today but i've had one nibbler it's not over yet though right now my goal is just to catch one hopefully it's all good so got the pickle rig right now. Well, Cindy was here, I cast it around the swim bait. A little bit, nothing. I'm gonna throw back the pickle rig out with that night crawler and the leech combination and fingers crossed I catch something before the sun sets. Well, uncle, 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 uncle. I tried, I fished, I don't even know, six, seven hours today. You're not always gonna score. I'm on the struggle bus right now, but things are gonna get better. No, I'm not crying, I'm just wiping my eyes. <laughs> Life's good. You guys covered a few tips there in terms of the pickle rig. We picked up some garbage. We found a deer head. We had a beautiful day. I think that's probably what my channel really needs to be all about. It's not just always about slamming monsters, catching fish. It's literally that right there. Being outside, enjoying yourself. That's what it's all about, okay? Get outside.